Hi again, welcome to Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. My name is Lou Bordeaux, the Green Wave Skate Doctor. We're here on the campus of Amherst College in Amherst, Massachusetts in the Orr Rink as the Greenfield Green Wave take on the Amherst Hurricanes tonight. The Hurricanes come into this game 10-2-0 overall. They're ranked number four in Division 3A Western play by MassHSHockey.com. Green Wave come into this game at 9-0-2 overall, and they're ranked number two in that same poll. In their previous four games, Amherst has a 2-2-0 two, two record, and they're currently led by Jaden Blackburn, and you're going to hear tonight the Foster brothers, Nick and Chris, uh, but please don't overlook Kuji Ishida, and between the pipes, freshman goalie John Hanscom for the Hurricanes. Now the Green Wave in their last three are 3-0-0, three, zero and zero, led by that first line of Brian Bauman and Sean O'Sullivan and Captain Doug Hineski, who got his 100th point earlier this season. And don't forget Frontier students, Kyle Barnes, Jacob Bryant, Kevin Bauman, and Aiden Roach. Now we were going to be with you last week from the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, but this happened. Way. Brian Bauman had four goals on Monday night. Well, there, there's something you don't see every day. I think we're going to take a little time out here. So hopefully nothing like that here tonight at the Orr Rink at Amherst College. We're going to be back with the opening face-off right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to the Orr Rink on the campus of Amherst College. We are just about ready for this big matchup between the Amherst Hurricanes and the Greenfield Green Wave. Brian Bauman skates out to center ice. And this one's underway. Amherst wins the draw, pulls it back. Clears in, Jacob Bryant clears out to the neutral zone. Carter Beckwith moves it forward. Little dump and chase right off the bat. Bounces back outside into the neutral zone once again. Delayed offside. Jacob Bryant plays the puck. Clears through. Looks like it's going to be icing.
And here we go. Bauman wins the draw, kind of a stalemate there. Regroups, clears out to the neutral zone. And right off the bat, we've got a hooking call. Hooking on Aiden Roach. We're not even one minute into this one. And we're going to take a look at the Green Wave penalty kill unit here. Still comprised mostly of the starters. Nick Foster wheels in. Puji Ishida back to Foster. Foster with the drive. Right into the breadbasket. Riley Drew, first save of the night. Riley comes into this game. On a hot streak. Doing very well between the pipes for the green wave. That's Nick Foster with it. Back to Ishida. Into Foster once more. Poke check, and here comes Haneski. Kicked away by Ishida. Haneski in pursuit. Maintains control. He's got Jacob Bryant wide open. Kicked aside by John Hanscom in goal for the Hurricanes. John Hanscom, freshman. Seeing a lot of duty for the Canes this season. Here comes Ishida through center. Back to Nick Foster. Once again, Riley. With a nice save. Minute eight left on the Amherst power play. 13-27 remain in the first period. Scoreless tie so far. Cold night in Amherst. Dumped in behind the Greenfield cage. It's Jaden Blackburn, number seven. Sophomore forward for Amherst has 20 points on the season. Nick Foster. Over to Kuji Ishida, and he just banged it home on the power play goal. Amherst with a quick 1-0 lead. Always tough when you take that early penalty. Teams are still in kind of a feeling out process. And you like to think your penalty kill is, uh, is always going to be right there doing what they need to do. But Ashita broke free over on the far wall. Use the screen, put the biscuit in the basket. It's one nothing Amherst. Faceoff goes right back to Riley. Takes a look and covers. 12.58 remaining in the first period. Scores 1-0 in favor of the Amherst Hurricanes. Kyle Barnes out to take the draw. Opposite Kyle is Brandon Peretz, junior forward. Shoulder to shoulder, another stalemate there. Barnes with the puck. Crosses the blue line. Gets in deep, centers. Play gets tied up along the half wall. It's Cam Rice there. Sloppy clear, corralled by Jacob Bryant. Bryant goes in deep. Some more sloppy passing by Amherst in their own defensive zone. Brian Bauman ends up with the puck. Finally, Amherst clears the zone. There's Kevin Bauman over to Doug Hineski. Back up to Brian Bauman, lost the puck in his feet. 
Out comes Jaden Blackburn. He Jacob Bryant. Let that one fly from 80 feet. Rashida passes up to Blackburn again. And Blackburn's a slick skater. Bowie Harris deflected. Cross center ice. Sean O'Sullivan in pursuit. Sully crosses. Hanscom with the big save. Doug Haneski with a nice tip and attempt on that one. We have 11-17 remaining in the first period. Amherst leads this one 1-0. One Louis Harris keeps the puck in momentarily. Kyle Barnes with it. Just over the top. Louis tried to keep that one in. Didn't work out. Cam Rice. Back over to Aiden Roach. Delayed offside. Amherst puts themselves onside. Bowie Harris with the puck. Back over to Roach. Barnes and Brandon Parrott's a little battle along the center boards. Jake Croto. Some nice forechecking there. Mike McGoldrick. Good to see Mike back in the lineup. Oh, me, oh my. Looked like the original referee signal was for another minor on Aiden Roach and Joe Frenier couldn't resist the urge. He goes for roughing. Couple of number 21s in the box. Referee back at the scorer's table. And we're ready to go. Looks like it's going to be five on five because of the coincidental minors. R.O.P.D. wins the draw. Back to McGoldrick. Kevin Bauman gets it into the Amherst zone. Gio Rivera clears out. Here comes Jaden Blackburn. One on two, fanned on the shot. He's behind the goal line. Gets it back on. There's a tip in right under Riley. That was Jaden Blackburn with the tip in off a of Nick Paul feed. Just like that, Amherst opens up a two goal lead. Blackburn just split the D, got in deep. And there's very little the goaltender can do in a situation like that. Puck got right under Riley, and we got a 2-0 lead for Amherst. 9.51 remain in the first period. Hurricanes have to be feeling a little bit better about themselves right now. Jacob Bryant banks it out into the neutral zone. Harris behind the net. Puck sits on the blue line for a moment. Jacob Bryant gathers in, takes a look. Crosses center ice and dumps in. Nick Paul goes after it. Puck bounces off the glass. Deep in the greenfield zone, waved off for icing at the last minute. Referee felt that Bowie Harris could have played the puck. Brian Bauman going back the other way. Bauman over the blue line. Over to Sully, oh, Sean O'Sullivan. Nice bid, and John Hanscom came up big. 
Doug Hineski grabs the, grabs the centering pass. He's going nowhere. Sully with the puck again. And Goldrick keeps the puck in. Banks it back. Brian Bauman with it. Tried the wraparound, came loose. Evan Smith for Amherst clears. Kevin Bauman in pursuit now. Bauman Brothers, Frontier students. Looks like Amherst got away with too many men right there. One of the guys tried to jump into the Greenfield bench. But Goldrick with a big drive, turned away by Hanscom. Stretch pass, big save, Riley Drew. Jaden Blackburn was hanging back at the blue line. Got the saucer pass from Nick Paul. And Riley stoned him. We're here at Orr Rink in Amherst, Massachusetts on the campus of Amherst College. Kyle Barnes taking the draw. Wins it back to Jacob Bryant. Bryant all the way around the boards. Clears the zone. That's Nick Paul in pursuit. Cam Rice headed after him. Ricey dumps it back in deep. Jake Croto now in pursuit. Nice grab by Kyle Barnes out of midair. He's got two men on him behind the net. Play get a little physical there. So again, a long clearing attempt. Harris gets it. That one's offside. Jaden Blackburn couldn't quite keep it in the zone. We've got seven minutes and 12 seconds remaining here in the first period at the Orr Rink at Amherst College. Amherst Hurricanes lead this one two to zero right now. Brian Bauman wins the draw, goes into the Amherst zone. Carter Beckwith after the puck. Cleared up, Kevin Bauman with it. Vineski behind the net. Weighing his options. Another save by Hanscom. And Goldrick keeps it in. He's deflected by Ishida. Vineski gets the body in there. Keeps the puck in play in the Amherst zone. Maintains possession. Once again, two guys on him. O'Sullivan goes in to even that one up. Puck was in the feet of Nick Foster. Brian Bauman tried to, tried to free it. Comes clear to Bauman, can't get off a clear shot. O'Sullivan back behind the net. And Hineski, and Ishida. That's gonna be a penalty. Pretty sure they're not going to call it a side suplex, but we'll see. He's calling holding on Amherst and roughing on Captain Doug Hineski. Not quite sure I saw how that happened. 6.01 remaining in the first period. And now the other referee to the scorer's table. Is asking that the two minutes be taken off the board because we are playing five aside here. The coincidental minors once again. Kyle Barnes with it gets the puck under Nick Paul. Back to Jacob Bryant. 
Jake Croto in pursuit. Leaves a body in his wake. Bryant keeps the puck in at the blue line. Barnes bounces, bounces the puck off of Chris Foster. Regains his own pass. Puck tapped down into the Greenfield zone. Jacob Bryant with it. Clears it out. Finds Kyle Barnes. No icing there. Sean O'Sullivan after it. Brian Bauman, a lot of ice over there. Gets it back to Aiden Roach. Roachy pumps it in. Play comes back this way. It's Ishida. Two on one. Once again, Riley foils Jaden Blackburn from point blank range in that two on, two on one. And McGoldrick clears the zone. That's icing. I think Nick Foster was uh, looking for that long stretch pass. Didn't materialize that time. We've got 431 remaining in the first period. Amherst leads this one 2-0. Green Wave once again looking to find their road legs. Seems that every time we see them on the road, it takes a little while before they get their feet under them. Jacob Bryant scatters the Amherst bench a little bit. Never hurts to pay attention over there. Face off at the scene of the crime. Amherst coach waving the white flag. Orel Petey, he's got some ice ahead of him. Foster got the elbow up there, undetected. Jacob Bryant turned away by Hanscom one more time. John Hanscom's had a strong first period for the Hurricanes so far. Amherst player is down behind the play. Another one down at the blue line, puck up into the netting. I'd like to thank FCAT Sports for the coverage of Green Wave Hockey. Doug Hineski shoots that one a little bit wide. Cleared back down. And that's going to be icing. As I said, thanks to our friends here at FCAT Sports for bringing Green Wave hockey into your homes, onto your screens, onto your devices. Hopefully be able to do it some more this season. Green Wave in the second half of their season now. Sean O'Sullivan, a big hit behind the play. Brian Bauman with a stinger there on that Bowie Harris drive. <laughs> Harris dumps in off the glass. Roach takes a look. Shoves it up towards Sean O'Sullivan. Can't handle that mid-air pass. Puck down behind the Amherst goal line. Brian Bauman. 
Had some open ice there, got away in. Nice shot. Hanscom took it in the chest and held it. We've got 301 remaining, first period. 2-0 Amherst here at Orr Rink on the campus of Amherst College. Brian Bauman in to take the draw. Got it back to Doug Hineski, just fired wide. Bucks back out to Jacob Bryant. Bryant takes a look, finds Bauman. Well, it looks like Amherst really likes that saucer pass. Once again, Jaden Blackburn was camped out on the Greenfield blue line. Hineski, oh! Riley made the save, but couldn't control. My heart was in my throat there for a minute. He's got a little out of control there. Or LPD out for the draw. Amherst scores one more. Through a screen of players one more time. We're going to give that one to Brandon Parrots. That's his fifth goal of the season. Green Wave dug themselves a 3-0 deficit here. Bounces into the Green Wave bench. Face off just outside the Green Wave blue line. Looks like Coach Bouchard shuffling his line combinations a little bit. He's got Brian Bauman out with Doug Hineski and Kyle Barnes right now. Barnes banks it in off the glass. It's Carter Beckwith behind the Amherst net. Cross ice attempt held by John Hanscom. Green Wave have yet to put together a solid scoring opportunity. Several shots from outside the perimeter. So far Amherst has controlled this play. Kyle Barnes ends up back with Mikey McGoldrick. Mikey dumps it in. Nick Foster in pursuit. Back to Aiden Roach. Well, looks like another penalty coming up here. Going to have holding on Aiden Roach, but Amherst got caught in the crossfire with a cross check. So once again, we're going to have coincidental minors. 106 remaining in the first period. Looks like Jaden Blackburn's chirping a little out there. He's going to sit down. Penalty calls, holding on Aiden Roach, cross-checking on Jaden Blackburn. This has not been the first period that the Green Wave were hoping for. They wanted to come out strong here at Orr Rink tonight.
Should be five on five hockey once more. For the third time in this first period, we've got coincidental minors. Bauman wins the draw back to Jacob Bryant. Throws it around Gio Rivera. It's a long shot in on Riley. Pucks outside the zone to delay it offside. Bryant has time to recalibrate. Takes a look around. Chops it up. Amherst just has the lively feet in this first period. It's Ishida. He gets it in deep. Puck sits loose. Chris Foster. And Nick Ball for the Hurricanes. Brian Bauman gets it loose. Tries to get it to brother Kevin. Kyle Barnes up the half wall and clears out into central center ice. Ten seconds remain in the first period. Ishida looking for one more scoring opportunity. He stood up at the blue line by Jacob Bryant. And that ends what would have to be considered a pretty disappointing first period by the Green Wave. Amherst skates off after one period with a 3-0 lead. And we're going to take a little time out. We're at the Orr Rink on the campus of Amherst College in Amherst, Massachusetts. After one period, the Amherst Hurricanes 3, Greenfield Green Wave 0. Back with second period action right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to Orr Rink in Amherst, Massachusetts. I'm the Green Wave Skate Doctor Lou Bordeaux here at Rinkside. Amherst Hurricanes lead this one 3-0 after one period of play. Brian Bauman out to take the draw to start the second period, and we are underway. Fuji Ishida clears it in. Jacob Bryan up to Haneski. Bounces it out. Little indecision on the official's part. Calls it an icing, though. Our broadcast position tonight among the Greenfield faithful. They haven't had a whole lot to cheer about so far. Brian Bauman catches that clearing attempt. Doug Hineski deep in the corner. Getting greasy. Bauman around the back of the net. Up to Kevin Bauman. A couple of quick saves by John Hanscom there. And the puck is cleared out by Kuji Ishida. Vineski gets it into Sully. Sean O'Sullivan with the puck. It's it in. Bauman got his stick on it, but was foiled at the last second. 
by Carter Beckwith. Jacob Bryant. Oh, big save, Hanscom. Jacob Bryant with a rocket from the blue line. John Hanscom got his catch glove on that one. We got a penalty on Amherst. No signal from the official. We can presume it was roughing for tackling Doug Haneski behind the goal line. And for the first time tonight, we're going to see the Green Wave power play. And Jacob Bryant and Bowie Harris on the blue line. Line of Adam Savoy, Kyle Barnes, and Cam Rice looking to make the magic happen here. Early in the second period, Green Wave really need this goal here. Again, the other official having a conference with both coaches. Kyle Barnes wins the draw. Jaden Blackburn, however, ends up, gets it back into the neutral zone. Harrison to Rice. Cleared back down into the greenfield zone. And there's going to be a penalty behind the play. That calls interference. And that is going to negate the Green Wave power play. Only 17 seconds into the penalty. On, Tough for a team to get momentum like this when the whistles seem pretty constant, both in the first period of play and so far here in the second. Teams will be skating four on four for the time being. Amherst getting a little physical. Nick Paul and Jaden Blackburn both. Doug Haneski into the Amherst zone. Back to Brian Bauman. Shot goes high. Haneski once again dumps in. Aiden Roach in deep. And the call behind the play. Nick Paul going for hooking. This keeps up. They're going to need bigger penalty boxes here at the Orr Rink. We've got 12.52 remaining in the second period. Three penalties up on the board. Greenfield now has a four-on-three power play. Brian Bauman taking the draw. He's out with Kyle Barnes. Kicks it back to Doug Haneski. Back over to Kevin Bauman. Barnes looking for the tip in. Wasn't meant to be. Brian Bauman. Back to Haneski. Takes a look. Over to Kevin Bauman. Ooh, nice try. The Bauman brothers back and forth. Back over to Haneski. Doug tries to thread the needle, just missed. Puck jumps over Kevin Bauman's stick, back over to Doug Hineski. Got 30 seconds remaining in the four on three power play here. Jaden Blackburn intercepts. Back over to Kevin Bauman. Drops it and Jaden Blackburn off to the races. I think Riley got a piece of that one. Haneski in over the blue line, takes a look. He loses the puck. Back over to Aiden Roach. Save, Hanscom. Turns it aside into the corner. And we're on four on four now. Nick Foster right out of the penalty box. Haneski, beautiful, beautiful four check on that play. 
Lob in, caught by Riley. Jacob Bryant back on the ice. Green Wave with a five on four advantage now. Oh, glove saved by Hanscom. Hanscom has been right on the money with that mitt tonight. Green Wave remain on a power play for 21 more seconds. Combination out there now, we've got Adam Savoy, Sean O'Sullivan, Cam Rice. It's Savoy in the corner. All the way back to Riley Drew. 10 seconds remain in penalty time. Quick touches. Once again, dump back down behind the Greenfield goal line. Penalty's expired, and we are back to full strength hockey. Puck back in in front of Riley. Savoy goes back behind the goal line with it. Cam Rice pokes it up. Savoy passes up to Jacob Bryant. Bryant being manhandled there. Puck's loose. Turned away by Hanscom. Savoy couldn't get good wood on it. Did get a shot away, though. Centering attempt by Adam. Couldn't be converted. Here goes Ishida. Turning on the Jets. Ooh. Got the puck up high on Riley. Riley made the save. Kept in at the blue line by Gio Rivera. Dumps in. Sean O'Sullivan with it. Clears it out into center ice. Little back and forth, give and go. O'Sullivan takes a look. Jaden Blackburn all alone. Tried to deke Riley Drew. Couldn't quite see it from our vantage point. We've got a stanchion right in the way. Heck of a save by Riley. Aiden Roach turns on the Rockets. Jake, Jacob Croto from the point. Throws one in. And they're going to say Brian Bauman held that puck a little bit too long. Faceoff comes outside the zone. Perhaps brought it out over the blue line, in fact. 8.59 remain in the second period. 3-0 favor the Amherst Hurricanes. Jake Proto. Takes his man out. Kyle Barnes follows up. Another save by Hanscom. Aiden Roach among a couple of Amherst players. Maintained control briefly. Ishida with the puck. Finds Joe Frenier. Got it through the feet of Bowie Harris, but couldn't quite follow through with it. Jake Croto up along the half wall. Puck remains loose. Frenier with it. In the feet of Brandon Parrots, back this way. Proto looks for the line change, dumped in by Carter Beckwith. Brian Bauman takes a look. Green Wave just can't quite get on track. We need that one break to. Perhaps turn the momentum around a little bit here. Goes the length of the ice. Wasn't going to be icing. 
Drew covers the puck. Going to have a face-off to his left. 7.40 remain in the second period. Chris Foster, a little too anxious there, got in over the blue line. Zone wasn't clear, though. Offside, face-off back outside in the neutral zone. John O'Sullivan takes the draw. Sully gets it, dumps it in deep. Kevin Bauman blocked the clearing attempt of Chris Foster. Beckwith. Clears it in gingerly on Riley Drew. Big pile up after the draw. There goes Kyle Barnes. On the line with Derek Lenoyes right now. Cleared back in by Brian Bauman. Barnes takes a look. Hans can deflect that clearing attempt. Froze the puck. Some of the regulars imploring the green wave. Keep their feet moving out there. Hockey can be a game of breaks. Got to make your own, though. Bauman wins the draw to the Lenoise. Back to Barnes. Lenoise got some, some wood on it. Hanscom with the save. Followed through. Harris keeps it in. Beats Ashita in that battle. That was nice. Goldrick, the cannon from the blue line, deflected by Kyle Barnes, but Hanscom was able to follow it. I do apologize. I didn't get shot totals in the first period, but Hanscom has definitely been busier in the second stanza. 6.09 remain. Coach Adam Bouchard is shuffling his lines here. He's got Doug Hineski out with Cam Rice and Sean O'Sullivan right now. Greenfield just having a difficult time keeping up with the tenacious forechecking of Amherst. Hineski with a one on four. That doesn't usually work out. Nick Foster clears it in. And it's icing. are watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. We're at the Orr Rink at Amherst College in Amherst, Massachusetts. Kyle Barnes right off the draw. Puck goes back, Aiden Roach, and there's Jaden Blackburn. Eli Slovian battered it out of midair. Puck was below the shoulders, though, so that's a good play. Puck went through a maze. Brian Bauman back this way. Stopped by Nick Foster. Kyle Barnes off the side of the net. Back around. Jacob Bryant.
Chris Foster took that one right in the palm of the hand. Dropped his glove. Referee wanted to blow the whistle, but the Green Wave controlled the play. He seems to be okay. That's going to leave a mark. Bowie Harris across to Jacob Bryant. Hand pass. Jaden Blackburn to Chris Foster. You can't do that. We got 424 remaining in the second period. Amherst leads this one 3 0. Doug Hineski out to take the draw. Hineski, most recent member of the Green Wave 100 point club. Kevin Bauman. Oh! Amherst once again gets the stick up. We've got Brandon Parrots, the goal scorer, back in the box for a cross check. Green Wave go on the power play. 4-12 remain in the second period. Free once again explaining to both coaches. Bauman won the draw, it was cleared, however, by Chris Foster all the way back to Riley Drew. Kevin Bauman behind the net takes a look, picked up by Brother Brian. Once again, that tenacious forechecking of Amherst, it's been a problem for the Green Wave all night long. Long pass to Doug Hineski. Two Amherst defenders back. Long attempt. Once again, Hanscom got the glove on that one. Minute 27 remain on the Green Wave power play. 3.39 remain in the second period. Bauman looking to win the draw. Back to Hineski. Drop to Aiden Roach. Roach with a nice thought, kept it low there. Clearing attempt, that's gonna go all the way down. No icing on that one. Minute 10 remain in the power play. Roach takes a look, back over to Brian Bauman. Bauman, open ice, up to Hineski. Back to Bauman. Drop to Dougie. Green Wave power play setting up now. Roach got that one up, and it looks like if you're going to get the puck up on the left side of John Hanscom's body, he's going to get that glove on it every single time. Let's go, Brian. 48 seconds remain on the Green Wave power play. Sean O'Sullivan wins the draw. Jacob Bryant unleashes a cannon. High and wide, cleared down. Ishida with a nice shorthanded attempt. Riley Drew equal to the task on that one. Faceoff is going to be to Riley's left. Coach Adam Bouchard gets some fresh legs out there. like Amherst has one too many out there right now. Not sure what happened there. Kuji Ishida leaving the ice surface. Little confusion on the part of the Hurricanes. Jaden Blackburn got the stick up there while he tried to get that backhander off. Harris with the puck. Yeah. Hey, a 
Bauman shoots and scores. Beautiful setup. Kyle Barnes to Doug Hineski. Bauman finished it off. The power play goal makes this a three to one game. That goal could not have come at a better time for the Green Wave. They've been working hard all night, seeing very few, in fact, saw no results up until that one. We got 2.28 left in the second period here. Now it's a three to one hockey game. Long dump in. Riley holds on for the face off. And we've got more players coming and going from the Amherst dressing room. Long attempt by Gio Rivera that goes very wide. Harris playing the body behind the net. Vineski pokes that one free. Here comes Derek Lenoise, drops it for Dougie. Nice clearing, nice centering attempt. Just wasn't meant to be. Going the other way, that's Chris Foster. Eli Slovian centers it. Stopped by Jacob Bryant once again up the half wall. Jaden Blackburn playing a very physical game out there tonight. Nick Foster behind his own net takes a look. Minute 20 remain in the second period. There goes Ishida. Ishida put the puck right on Brandon Parrott's stick. That's his second goal of the night. Green Wave worked hard to make it a two goal game and once again Amherst scores. Makes this one a three goal game. Minute 19 remain in the second period. Minute 19 remain. Second period, 4-1 Amherst. Here on their home ice at Orr Rink. Brian Bauman back to Haneski. Hanscom got the stick on that one. Cleared up, kept in. Temporarily. Right here in front of us, Haneski played the puck. Takes the body against Carter Beckwith. Centering attempt. Nobody there. Mikey McGoldrick. Uses the wall to make a pass. Haneski behind his own net. Puck was loose. Puck was loose right out front. Kyle Barnes. Nicely done. Amherst hit the panic button and that one went for icing. We got 26 seconds to go in the second period. <laughs> Brian Bauman set to take the draw. Ooh! Spun around, got a shot off. Wasn't quite on target though. Derek Lenoy's got run over there. Derek digging the puck. 
Now Sean O'Sullivan, we got a whistle here. 4.7 seconds remain in the second period. And that's going to do it. Two periods in the books here at Amherst College. Amherst Hurricanes lead by a score of 4-1 to one after two periods of play. Ice is going to be resurfaced. Green Wave head to the locker room. I'm sure Coach Bouchard will have a few words of wisdom for his troops. We're going to be back with third period action right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to Orr Rink on the campus of Amherst College in Amherst, Massachusetts. Lou Bordeaux, the Green Wave Skate Doctor, here with you tonight. Amherst leading this one 4-1 to one after two periods of play. The lone bright spot so far, Brian Bauman's 17th goal of the season for the Green Wave. Brian's closing in on that 100-point club. We are underway in the third period. Quick whistle. And pass, faceoff's going to be all the way down. Just five seconds ticked off the clock there. Vineski behind the goal. Wow, oh, that had to be deflected. Brian Bauman from the high slot, put that one up in the netting. Once again, faceoff is going to be to the right of John Hanscom. Hanscom's been money tonight for the Hurricanes. Puck is cleared. Doug Hineski recalibrating back over to Kevin Bauman. Up, oh, Kyle Barnes. This looks like a two on one. Couldn't get the puck over to Brian Bauman. Jacob Bryant unleashes one from center ice. Hanscom swallows that up. You are watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Green Wave will be in action this coming Friday night at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Busy time of the season, this second half. And thus far tonight, this one has not gone the way that the Green Wave wanted it to. Bowie Harris takes it behind his own net. Takes a look. Derek Lenoy puts a stick on it. Comes out. Sean O'Sullivan. Got a little too fancy. Takes an elbow for his effort. Returns the favor, and it's going to be Sully going for two. Sully was elbowed. There was no call. Instead, he gets two for roughing.
Doug Hineski to take the draw. Green Wave shorthanded here. Jacob Bryant, nice block. McFoster blocked, Hineski with the puck. Back to Aurel Petey. Hineski tries to get a shot off from a difficult angle. Puck's behind the goal line. Amherst coming through the neutral zone. It's Kuchi Ishida with it. Drops back, deflected up into the netting behind Riley Drew. Minute 22 remain on the Amherst power play. 13.04 remain here in the third period. 4-1, Amherst leads this one. Jaden Blackburn. He's had a solid game tonight. Rashida on the far side. Riley kicks that one into the corner. Blackburn clears. McFoster was not against the boards. Got into the neutral zone. Not much to say to describe that one. Nick Foster. Came in completely unmarked. Over to Chris Foster, banged it home, and it's a 5-1 lead for Amherst. Power play goal. Proto and Petey on that one. Brandon Parrots, he's looking for a Hattie tonight. Back to Ishida. Parrots can't handle it. Blocked in front by Jacob Bryant. Takes a look, thinks twice and dumps it. Gio Rivera behind his own net. Banks it off the glass. Kept in by Kevin Bauman. Bryant keeps it in. Brian Bauman into that Hoover-like glove of John Hanscom. Neski got the shot off. Hanscom turned that aside. Back to Roach. Barnes looking for the tip in. Puck's loose and Hanscom finally ties it up. Bauman wins the draw. Puck's clear, here comes Blackburn again. Two on one. Hayden Roach with a nice diving block. Vineski a little bit of open ice. Gets wide, taken off the play by Nick Foster. Bauman trails, Kyle Barnes has it. Vineski takes a swat at it. Beckwith misses wide. Delayed offside. Kyle Barnes taps it forward, plays on side. Vineski and O'Sullivan couldn't quite finish. 
Nick Paul shovels up. Bowie Harris lets one go. John Hanscom equal to the task one more time. Biggest enemy of the green wave right now is that clock. Only 10.08 remain. Four goal deficit here. Ishida smartly uses the boards for a pass. Brandon Parrott's in his bid for the hat trick. Denied by Riley. Face off back to Kevin Bauman. Clears it to the blue line. Just as quickly back down behind the goal line. Kushida takes a look. Brian Bauman up to Doug Haneski. Haneski a little shovel pass out to Kyle Barnes. Barnes. Off the plumbing. Mikey McGoldrick. Barnes with the backhander. Hanscom right there. A few seconds earlier. Kyle Barnes put one off the post. Nine minutes, 21 seconds remain. Here in the third period. Green Wave down by four. First time I've said that this season. Cam Rice behind the net. Puck bounces up on top of the cage. Faceoff's going to be to the right of John Hanscom. Freshman goaltender's been busy tonight. I do apologize. Haven't gotten any statistics tonight. He has been busy. Jaden Blackburn in pursuit. Clears it in. Jacob Bryant. Sends it around to Haneski. Just as quickly, it's back on his stick. Unleashes one from about 70 feet away. Icing is the call. We're going to go back down to the left of John Hanscom. 8.34 remain. It's a 5-1 lead for the Amherst Hurricanes. Amherst came into this game. Leading the Fay Division with a 5-0 record in conference. 10-2 overall. Mikey McGoldrick from the point. Hanscom made the save. That's going to be... Oh, well, was hit with a high stick. Ashita didn't play it. He was waiting for that. Green Wave played it. Bounced up into the Amherst bench. Faceoff is going to be down to the left of Hanscom one more time. <laughs> Off the faceoff, turned aside by Hanscom. Harris takes a look. Into Rice. Icing's waved off. The noise intercepts on the half while McGoldrick keeps it in. McGoldrick lets one fly from center ice. Brian Bauman tied up behind the net.
Sean O'Sullivan going back to the box for interference. Offensive zone penalty. And across the faceoff to come all the way back to Riley's left. The Hurricanes have already capitalized on a power play tonight. Coach Bouchard asking for a clarification there. Not sure he's satisfied. He's still asking. And now Greenfield is being hit with an unsportsmanlike. Well, we've got four minutes. We've got four minutes posted on the penalty clock for Sean O'Sullivan. Hard to believe a hit like that would draw a double minor. Another two minutes. And this game is spiraling right now. Haneski right off the draw with a cross check. Jaden Blackburn in pursuit of Haneski. A lot of chirping in the penalty boxes right now. Jaden Blackburn doesn't want to stop. His teammate Evan Smith tells him to be quiet. Blackburn apparently sees something interesting at the scoreboard. We all know what that's about. It would appear as if the referees have lost control of this one. After what was a relatively quiet second period. Neither coach appears to be pleased with any of this. One bright spot here in Amherst tonight. Prior to this game, the Green Wave JV squad beat the Amherst JV squad handily, 6-2. to two. Congratulations to them. Referee has both coaches over there. Probably wouldn't have to have them both over there. I think it's been called a little different earlier. Neither here nor there. score of this one is 5-1 Amherst, 7-33 remain in the third period. Now the referee is back over at the scorer's table.
They may have run out of room on that score sheet. All of the penalty times are lit up on the board. I believe this is going to be a three on three situation if they ever drop the puck again. And now the other referee comes over to the scorer's table. appear that the referee has ejected one of the greenfield one of the greenfield fans Well, after that big conference, they've taken one of the penalties off the board for Amherst, which should come to no one's surprise. Amherst has four skaters on the ice, Greenfield with three. A little perplexing how penalties can be assessed and then withdrawn like that. But I have neither a striped shirt nor a whistle. Finally, the puck is dropped after about a seven minute delay. Brian Bauman heads after it. And after all that, Amherst is back on the power play. Jacob Bryan intercepts. Nick Foster with the puck. Brother Chris back to Kujiyashita. Fumbles momentarily. Chris Foster behind the net. Oh! Nick Foster with a blast from the blue line. Riley made the save and it just trickled in. Six forty-five remain in the third period. Scores now six one Amherst. Official trying to maintain some control here. Says that one of the Green Wave players can come back on the ice. Although it would appear that two extra minutes came off of one of the penalties. And the referee back to the scorer's table. I guess they got that right. We're four on four hockey now. Nick Foster clears in. That's his brother Chris. Oh, 
Four skaters for the Green Wave bunched up there. Harris back around to Savoy. Savoy bodied by Foster. Drew with the save. Aiden Roach, nice block. Gets the puck up to Kyle Barnes. Barnes is stymied by Carter Beckwith. Centering attempt to no avail. Back behind the Amherst net. Carter Beckwith up the boards. Will Averill couldn't keep that one in. Clearing attempt. Averill up the half wall in the feet of Arel Petey. Jake Croto gets the puck out of the zone. Couldn't quite keep up with it. Jake Croto back this way. Stopped at the blue line by Nick Paul. Paul dumps back in. 425 remain in the third period. Croto. It's the puck knocked off his stick. MJ Paul in with the puck. And it goes for an icing. Four on four play continues for another 35 seconds. Score is six to one, favor of Amherst. Nick Foster, just like the last goal. Drove it right underneath Riley. with a puck, clears it back to the Amherst blue line and just that quickly it's down into the greenfield zone. Adam Savoy battling along the wall. Savoy to Petey. Petey chases it. Averill can't quite keep it in. Four on one, developed for the Hurricanes. John O'Sullivan. Paulin just missed on the short side. Beckwith behind the net for Amherst. George Alamonos gets a touch on the puck for the Hurricanes. Doug Hineski with a stick in the back of his head.
I do believe Amherst has been caught for too many men on the ice. Two twenty six remain, third period. Amherst seven to one in this one. Green wave on the power play. Chris Foster with a short handed attempt. And the collision of the night. Jacob Bryant and Jaden Blackburn take out one of the officials. Brian Bauman, meanwhile, behind the Amherst cage with the puck. Puck's loose. And it's cleared. Riley comes out and holds it for Kevin Bauman. Instead passes it up to Jacob Bryant. Right onto the stick of Jaden Blackburn. Through the feet of Sean O'Sullivan. Morgan Parrots seeing her first action of the night. O'Sullivan through the neutral zone. Stripped as he entered the high slot area. Hanscom intercepts, puts it behind the net. Once again, Hurricanes clear the puck. Last minute of play in the period, Jacob Bryan all by himself. Another 70 foot slap shot right at John Hanscom. Mikey McGoldrick, as we're under a minute. Mikey with a head of steam. Gets the shot away. Hanscom turns that aside. Foster. Nick Foster, natural hat trick. All three goals identical. And the officials just decide to let the clock run out. Perhaps the smartest thing they've done all night. Amherst handing the green wave their first loss of the season. Final score is eight to one here at the Orr Rink. Green Wave will be back in action this Friday and Saturday, two games against Gardner. Friday night, the game will be at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Saturday night in Gardner. We hope you can join us there. And we'll look forward to seeing you again here on FCAT Sports. From the Orr Rink in Amherst, final score tonight. Amherst Hurricanes 8, Greenfield Green Wave 1. This is Lou Bordeaux, the Green Wave Skate Doctor, saying good night from Amherst. <laughs>